Breaking news, a local school district tonight voted to formally defy the state mandate that school teachers and staff members be vaccinated. The deadline to comply is this Friday. Action News Now reporter Ryan Caney was at tonight's Happy Valley Union School District Board meeting. So Ryan, what happens next and how are parents reacting? Alan, parents in the meeting were cheering and applauding the decision. Teachers can still be tested for COVID weekly, but parents in the meeting were more concerned with rejecting any future vaccine mandates for students. While the board acknowledged the risk in defying vaccine mandates, school district vice president Ben Swim said he wants to be proactive, not reactive to defying the vaccine mandate. Dozens of teachers, parents and community members filled the bleachers in the Happy Valley Elementary School gym to support the board and their decision. Some of the people who spoke during public comment took their time to let the board know to take the risk and take a stand against vaccine mandates. And yeah, we're risking a lot, but really are we? If we look at steps forward and they're gonna take it anyway, I think we just need to pave the way and say, no, this is what we're doing. This is happening. Some parents at the meeting said they were even considering taking their kids out of school if vaccines were required for students. Happy Valley Union School District Superintendent Sherry Craig was worried that defying a vaccine mandate could distract from educating the over 450 students they serve and is worried about what not following the mandates will mean. With the state vaccine mandate deadline for school staff only three days away, Craig declined to comment on what will happen to unvaccinated staff and what defying the mandates will mean after tonight's decision. Live in Happy Valley, Ryan Caney, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Well, along with the staff vaccine deadline this Friday, the district is also preparing for possible power safety shutoffs this week after buying generators to keep the lights on.